goodbye have a good week what day is today it's monday yes so have a good week <laughs> and i will talk to you very very soon bye 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 gosh i have so much to tell you <laughs> so much to say um i'm gonna start off with gluing two pages together and that's for uh, my pages to be thicker it's easier to work with the medium so things won't get through leak through the pages and because if you use old book or if you use just any book that a notebook or whichever that is having delicate pages sticking two three together always helps and that's what I usually do I don't mind them kind of leaking so I actually like them I think they're just adding <laughs> value to the project now this is uh, the previous page uh, journaling collaging uh, we're gonna do something like maybe I don't know um, I haven't <laughs> made my mind yet uh, but um, I hope it's gonna be Nice. I just use a regular glue, print stick, nothing, uh, nothing fancy here. Mm, you know me that I like uh, working with no plan. Does it always work? Mm, it depends. <laughs> uh, but I like the surprise always, and I encourage you to, instead of concentrating on the final piece and how to uh, achieve certain effects, start experimenting and playing. By playing, oh, you may hear little Hannah in the background because I think baby has a little plan for today, not necessarily allowing me to create. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> she seems to be um, awake earlier than I planned, than I thought, but that's okay. We wait till she calls me because now I can only hear her kind of tiny chatting if I can say that two week old baby is chatting it's like <coughs> so you may hear her you may not uh, maybe she just have some dream but anyway going back to our collaging I'm using old book um, and as I said experimenting will lead us always to some interesting results or not sometimes it won't but by playing and trying and having no plan you can surprise yourself and that's what I like like at this moment why do I stick this paper here not there I don't know it's just the feeling of here and now and basically deciding uh, for things and just go for it just we see each step will provoke the next step and that's what I like about experimenting because you just you just cannot tell how things will turn up turn out <laughs> turn up turn out so yeah I have old book here I have some other old book there mm. I hope to use in the project something that maybe some of you already have uh, maybe some of you already seen uh, ma many of you already have <laughs> that's for sure uh, so I hope to use some of the uh, prints, paper, embellishments, paper uh, die cuts for this project that I have designed. So I hope to show you them. Now this is some envelope that, oops, that's okay, that I hope to use some way, somehow. I think it could be pretty and why not to just destroy it and just give it a, a different look a kind of you know not so obvious like if we would just stick the envelope so let's make something different you know try out experiment and many of you is asking will this work and you ask for if this color will work on this surface or something something or you asking some of you are asking, can I use this instead of that? Because that's what I have. And I always try to politely tell that, well, we cannot know all the answers. I may never tried it, I may never used it, I may not own certain things. But the best answer for it, just try for yourself. So, same for uh, using different tools, uh, same for trying out experimenting. 
I actually feel so relaxed, although before I started I was not so relaxed simply because I haven't recorded a video for what was it a month at least? Could be a month already or, not, or more. I had dust on my desk, <laughs> can you believe that? I have had a, da had a dust which is wow, <laughs> strange. Um, yes, I left you a message. Uh, post on my Facebook page saying that baby is asleep so time for recording because Emily and Lucas are gone shopping as well um, and many of you were saying mommy should I sleep which is completely true I agree I agree but I'm done with sleeping I'm tired of sleeping and resting and being on the couch I had to come here even though, funny enough, I haven't feel creative for the past week or two. I didn't have an urge to create. I even was saying to my friends in private messages, I feel so bad because I don't feel like creating. I'm actually scared of that feeling. But today, when they left, <laughs> when uh, Hannah decided to sleep, uh, I said, do you know what? It's Sunday morning. It's awful day outside, raining. Uh, I, just, I just put the tomato soup on the to start off cooking tomatoes and things and I said you know what I'm gonna try and go for simple something simple go for something that I enjoy which is art journaling collaging something that it will be in my comfort zone in a way and hopefully this will be just a, a nice way of going back and also a nice way for you to have me back <laughs> I missed you so much. I still miss you even now I'm recording and I, I've been chatting to you as much as I could but I miss, miss the whole, um, you know, the whole community vibe on YouTube and everywhere. I feel that I'm a little bit behind with things which of course it will go away I hope anyway <laughs> I hope anyway I have some paper, uh, paper uh, die cut here that I'm gonna just make smaller maybe something like that why don't we just change its look change its look exactly to something different you know tear it swap color it destroy that's all this is all that will give you some sort of feeling of different and that you're doing something different. Let me just... Oh no, I can actually use this. You know, when you just go for the ordinary and regular uh, usage of things, you know, it's, it might be... Feels, it may feel boring. So change it. Change to your own way of feeling. So yes, like now. Do something different. I like that. Hey, you know I like that. <laughs> I hope you you like that too and I hope you're creating with me. Something simple. As I said, I hope to use my die cuts today. Many of you, many, and thank you so ever much. Many of you have bought them from my Etsy store before Hannah arrived. I think it was before Hannah arrived. And I just, just didn't have a chance to to use it myself and create with it so <laughs> I said oh I, I, I really would love to use it and I've seen projects already with my die cuts with the feathers and with this butterfly so it's so amazing I'm gonna show you that in two seconds the die cuts and the other one which is new two sets of different lovely p paper things uh, but before I'm gonna just keep on doing what I'm doing here now I am gonna just fussy cut those little scissors from magazine. Now what I love about collage ink is that as always as I say there's no rules but also there is this lovely freedom, there is this lovely uh, what's the word, you, you kind of you kind of are not restricted and you cannot even it's even hard to uh, make similar project you know when someone is doing something you if you're using magazines if you're using things that you have stored for years like envelopes old books and different things it's always going to be original even if someone will try to do something similar to you 
you will always end up with something different, which is awesome. That's what I love about collaging. And it's so very pure and so very organic in its way. So I love that. I love that. And using magazines, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. <coughs> I like that. Here or there, I'm not too very sure, but I love that. Mm -hmm. So, and today it's actually Mother's Day, not in Poland, but uh, in when in UK anyway, and in Ireland anyway, it is. And I got my, I got a lovely gift from Emily. I'll show you. <coughs> dum da da dum, mom. <laughs> And it's in Polish. Dear mom, we wish you all the best in your, in such an important day. From Emmy and Hania. Hania, it's our Hannah. So it's her first thing that she got, she made, and it's from both of them. <laughs> so it's it's pretty amazing. And she wrote Hania because Hannah in Polish is Hania, uh, or Hanka, or yeah, we call her Hanusha, <laughs> Hanek. Oh, we already call her in million ways. We we have this this sort of thing in us that we just changed the <laughs> names of everyone so it's emmy like you can see yourself she she that's what we call her emmy or emily but emmy or we call her mishka mishka did i tell you that because you know if i repeat myself i'm so sorry mishka is from emily and mishka and emilka and mishka and mishka and mishka is like a teddy bear so actually recently she's more a mishka like a teddy bear than anything else so I think this will stay with us forever. <laughs> Little Emily is gonna be teddy bear. Um, what next, guys? What would you do next? I actually feel feel for a photo of this uh, because it's so beautiful. Uh, the way edited as it is, uncolored and unfinished. I'm gonna take a photo, check on Hanya, Hanna, Hanya, Hanna, <laughs> and I'm gonna come back to you and check on the soup as well. <laughs> mm, I think my next step will be to add some. Oh. You can hear the little one. <laughs> I'm gonna just cover up uh, transparent gesso uh, just so I can work on that surface. So I'm gonna prime this now. You can get transparent gesso on any sort of brands you only wish for. Just google for transparent gesso um, and you will find many 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 offers depending where you live of course look for online shopping sometimes amazon ebay as well scrapbook.com all sorts of places okay so by using transparent gesso i am just preparing my surface and i can doodle then i can paint i can also go over with my pencil and markers and things it's just easier now question often asked can i use um mod podge instead you can but it's not gonna work the same way it will prime a little bit it will kind of cover up but it's not gonna give you the same effect when you will uh, if you're willing to to then paint it with watercolors for example because um mod podge will resist your your uh, pigments, your pa uh, paints, and it's not gonna, the color. Not, it's not gonna stay. Of course, sometimes it will a bit, but if you keep on adding or if you be <laughs> forceful enough, but it's not the case that that's what you want. You wish to have the easy surface to work on. So just so transparent white or black, whichever. Those are your primers to prime your project to get it ready for any sort of mediums and coloring type of work which um, which uh, Mod Podge is your glue it's really your fixer it's kind of to cover it uh, you know prote uh, protect from the dust and stuff from spillage but it's not a good way of covering your work w when you wish for continue coloring now this little girl is definitely calling mama gently <laughs> you know it's pretty well she's not calling me no she's stretching I can hear her and see her actually from here it's good to have studio downstairs when like in this case now <laughs> I, I am cooking downstairs recording video for you 
and the baby is next to me pretty much and I can see her through my um, studio wall that is dividing our living space from my studio so that's that's really good now because <laughs> I'm I couldn't imagine having her upstairs and me being downstairs may of course later yes but not now she's far too small and I'm far too worried at the moment so now I'm adding white just so and it's just a very random spot my friends nothing uh, there's no rule in here I'm just adding where I feel that it would be nice to add because it will be nice to have some sort of it, it's just gonna blend in nicely together so there's no really there's no really a rule here and why I have done this or that so now it's funny when the little one hears my voice and already knows that this is this is where the comfort comes and the food comes and all of that <laughs> and she's already turning her head can you believe it it's two weeks over two weeks now that she's with us it's 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 crazy crazy that time flies so much and yes they are saying six weeks you should really rest and stuff but I, I think I am doing pretty well and we left hospital the next day. I just didn't want to stay a day any day longer, any minute longer, just because I I love being home and love being with my family. So, yes, after uh, having her, I we left the hospital literally the next day, which was very early. But the doctors there there was no issue whatsoever to keep me there. So. Same now, I feel very good. And thank you for your wishes and concerns. I think your wishes helped, that's for sure. I had this massive, um, this massive uh, encouragement from you and love and support. Oh, I think there's something in the, in the nappy happened. Now, if you heard it, <laughs> no, you didn't hear it. It's, you know, it's amazing how life ch <laughs> changes and the new noises and the just new ways of seeing things it's funny it's very funny now I'm gonna leave this to dry I'm gonna check on my other half of the room how is there what is there happening when I'm not there and uh, when this dries I'm gonna come back to you and we move on from there thinking what color to use and things and yes I think I'm gonna jump in for my <clears throat> watercolor background that I have in the set uh, it would be interesting to add it you will see I I'm curious myself so so that's it I'm gonna leave that to dry now and I'll see you in two seconds mm, and I'm back I'm back to you but uh, the next day uh, we had some unexpected visitors when you have a newborn in the house you b bound to have some visitors coming to you so the day went its own life so I'm back today to finish it. I posted this uh, page that you see here on my social media already. So some of you have seen this. It's not glued. It's just an idea for what could be added here next. And what do we have here? What's that? This is uh, something that I came up in myself. And this is, th those are um, beautiful prints of my hand, print, hand painted watercolor uh, paintings uh, elements that you could use in your projects and I'm gonna show you them this is a new set a much smaller set this is uh, a set that was already in the shop so I'm gonna show you them maybe first let me show you those uh, this set is already in the store so you can see it. well both of them are but this was this was earlier and some of you already have it so we have some feathers we have some beautiful butterflies we have some watercolor background we have some um, bubbles more butterflies and what else is this? oh more butterflies different ones everything that you see here is painted hand painted by me and more butter uh, feathers but they are different I'll show you if you follow my social media you definitely have seen those because I've uh, I've painted them and you many of you loved it and this is where the idea came <laughs> for doing them as prints so you could use them on your projects basically so this is what I, I, I love this set so I hope to use it somehow let's see if I can use it and 
and those are from this set. This is a new one and this is a bit different with some sayings and I really love that. So I'll show you. I will show you what's in this set. This is much smaller and just different because you have sayings and it's... Um, so this one comes from this uh, set and I just fussy cut it that and cut it. I love that you can have those as titles for your cards, for your focal point of a project or a card. A card especially is what I was thinking. Uh, I love those. I really, really, absolutely love those. Those were one of my first uh, watercolor paintings and the butterflies as well. And then we have some more flowers with lovely uh, sayings. We have some tulips. We have some other so this is what you what you have in both sets and I think I'm gonna try and use those and those and this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know I'll see so I'm gonna fussy cut that somehow and hopefully incorporate that into my into my page um, I uh, many of you have already got those and really loved it I've seen few projects already but of course I was thinking I have to make some project with my own uh, with my own prints because <laughs> my own papers because um, I didn't have a chance to play with them I had them in the store before um, before the baby actually and then when the baby arrived it was just not enough time so now I think it's a perfect moment where I can just enjoy it and finally use use those and show you what you could do well there's hundred ways you can use them and what I love about them is that they are watercolor watercolors so adding those to your projects it's like adding uh, a watercolor painting to your own project so that's nice you can of course try and watercolor yourself so it's up to it it could be just an idea for you or you could you could you know treat it as embellishment or you could just try and maybe uh, take this as as a guide for your own paintings I love them very much I remember when I've done those it's just something stay with you and just love them like this one I truly truly love now baby is asleep again so <laughs> we will see for how long Hannah will be asleep Emily's in school so house is quiet <laughs> and we can we can hopefully finish off an, the recording of the video today and I will upload it straight away the second I finish I hope <laughs> I hope thank you so much for your lovely comments as always I posted um, on my Facebook page I posted uh, a post <laughs> that I'm planning to record and some so many of you have said that you cannot wait to to see a new video some of you said take your time we don't rush or you know so it's so lovely to hear from you always I absolutely love that do you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking that I love what I see now but I'm thinking to kind of maybe cut it like this or something like here mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just chance it and just do it like that I love to kind of surprise myself as well and just do it do things differently basically you know okay oh I like that that that's gonna be interesting now <coughs> So many of you have commented on my Facebook page when I I left out the glue yesterday <laughs> opened and I think the glue dried. I have to cut it with a knife maybe? Where is some knife? Do I have or maybe a palette knife will help? Let me see if that will help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately I forgot to close the close the glue yesterday so I suppose that's the <laughs> that's the thing that I did I just forgot I haven't created for so long a record for so long that I just forgot of 
Okay, so I'm gonna just add this with my glue. I wonder if this holds because this is very thick paper. This is uh, uh, like for paper embellishment. This is 280, I think, or 240, cannot remember exact uh, paper thickness, but it's pretty thick, <laughs> I have to say. It's very thick, so no. I love that. <clears throat> <laughs> what about if we actually use those as well on the other side just a little bit again <laughs> this is a pure experiment and no plan and no um, No plan, yeah, basically, for that page. <clears throat> oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. So, yes, um, I, I love the fact that you were saying that I don't have to yet coming back because you are very patient and that you will be here when I'm ready to go back to recording and creating. It's so lovely to hear from you, the fact that you're so concerned about my health and you do <laughs> miss my videos, but you are more than happy to give me a time to recover. So thank you so much. I think that uh, as much as the rest is super important, I think it's very important as well to, to go back to creating if you feel like it. Uh, not too much, of course, not, you know, not to not not um, so you wouldn't struggle but to go back so you would just feel better um, maybe with the creating uh, I that's how I kind of uh, recover as well it's creating I didn't feel creative for the last two weeks until yesterday <laughs> and I feel creative today as well so that's awesome but yes I waited until my my need co comes in kicks in and it did kick in so this is when I said, okay, I said, I'm going to my studio and that's it. Not, no stopping. <laughs> I'm going to have some tea, maybe. Some tea. <clears throat> now, this is pretty interesting at the moment, don't you think? This is pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, I never mentioned, I think, if any of you would like to see those prints, There'll be more adding soon to the store, so no panic, you know. I, there's more planned. I just need them to uh, to be done and fin <laughs> finished, so I could add them to the store, and they have to be here. Uh, but they are on my Etsy store. If any of you is interested to have a look, the, those two sets, uh, this one, the feather one, and this one, both of them are in store already, so you can have a look and. In store as in in Etsy store this is my I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna I, I think I know what I will be doing I think I'm gonna be shading shadowing shading so Etsy store I'll give you a link at the end of the video I'll give you comment the first comment on on my video will be this I think that's what I will do so it'll be easier for you to find so in the comment section uh, you will have the you will have the link so it will be much easier for you to to find it so yes and of course we ship that I ship that worldwide as you can imagine and as I said there will be more to come and new things as well I hope pretty soon but um, taking your advice I'm not rushing anywhere you know just step by step I'm finishing my online classes, new online classes and kids as well. Uh, some are on the way already. Um, there's a few older classes as well still left with the kids if you feel like having a check on them. Okay, I think it's nice. The shadowing makes a difference and it just looks different and cohesive, I think. I love shadowing in general. You know that many projects I do 
I do uh, shadowing and it's nice. It really is nice. It g gives this depth to your project. And what I love about this, uh, those prints, I love that they are different. They really are, you know, because they are kind of, not kind of, but they are pretty much uh, m painted and arranged and all by me. I like that because um, it, it's just something like they're not perfect. I like to call them. They, they're not perfect. They're mine. And I, I like that about them. They're mine. So if you can enjoy those, I'm more than happy to hear this. If they will inspire you, that's fabulous. Now, I have also uh, markers that I hope to use. I'll see how things are going to be. Um, I'm not too sure about shadowing flowers yet, so I'll see where I'm going to add them and stuff like that. So, again, the shadowing part, I'm more than anything, it's more like a kind of... Um, why do I do it? It's like a step. I just decide to do it to see where this is going to take me. So, it's not something you have to do, but it's nice to do, you know, it's really nice. It's it's just a, a nice addition and if you're not too sure your next step, it's nice to maybe add some shadow, <laughs> basically. So, um, art journaling in general and like this kind of collaging and art journaling, I think it's so interesting to see how our pages progress. It's really, really... Um, unique in its own way so and there's so many possibilities it's, you just have to open up for them open up your heart and don't be afraid to just go for for it and enjoy it art journaling is such a free form of expression so just do it do your own way and I like that very nice very interesting I have to say that next time I would, like I like that I ha I kind of, this is very not so straight, this is very straight. I, I If I would next time, I would kind of make that less, uh, yeah. Can I actually now do it? I can. You see? Don't be afraid to even... <laughs> To even change it like now why why not just add um agreeing with the mistake and saying I've done it different or wrong or something it's okay you see I use print stick so it's not the most the best of the best glue which I really don't mind and in this case we're lucky because we can basically uh, we can basically fix that because it didn't dry fully yet uh, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just rounding the edges, which I think, yeah, it's much nicer now. Even if it's imperfect, imper it's just so nice. Mm. Yeah, that's it. It's so funny with this background, because when I was deciding to add it to the set, <laughs> I was thinking, but how actually would you use that? <laughs> Marta, and then I had this vision in my head, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, literally a vision, not a plan, but a vision of how this could be done, um, and I absolutely adore this now, it's very unique in its own look, I hope you can see that, it's pretty unique, you could do that without um, the print itself, you could try to draw this, uh, paint this, some, somehow similar, now I love that. I'm so pleased with it. So very pleased. Now, that is beautiful. Now, and now we can do a bit of new shadowing around the edges and all, and it's much nicer now. I think it's nicer in a way. It's okay to fix things, you know, don't don't think that the professionals or those amazing projects that you see sometimes, 
sometimes people who've done those amazing projects, they've done many before and they weren't perfect and they've learned from them to actually come up with this amazing afterwards. So, yeah. <laughs> Not everything what you see is what you see. <laughs> okay, I love that here. I love that. Wow. <laughs> Can you be more in love with your own things as always, as I say? So. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to go around the edges, the lines where my uh, elements are uh, added, as you can tell easily. Uh, so just to bring things to life and kind of make them stand out now more. Totally, totally loving it. Absolutely loving it. And it is not something I have expected. Of purely no but I like that I like the the outcome of it it's so different but it's very collagey and interesting and nice now I'm thinking this yellow or no maybe this yellow Th those are Ecolines brush pens um, concentrated formula 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 and this is Royal Talents but this is watercolors so they should react with water, right? So I'm gonna see how this is gonna be and I'm gonna grab some brush and some water. Where's water? Oh, I can have water here. <clears throat> ah, something like that, why not? Okay. That's nice. Probably painting on top of already dirty, <laughs> already dirty um, char. Oops, charcoal. Um, what's the word? Charcoal, not charcoal. Um, graphite pencil. It makes my pen dirty, but I I, I don't mind that. I don't. I really don't mind this. I'm just adding the yellow as you can tell in just few spaces, places, so it would be more kind of cohesive for the rest. My dirty fingers. <laughs> I like that. So you can tell that adding a little touch of yellow now is kind of, I don't know, giving this extra touch of... No, this is not the best um, brush, I have to say. Where are my old water brushes? <laughs> oh, I have them here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Is there water in them? Oh, there is. Oh, there we go. This should be better. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah, the shadowing... Reverse that. The shadowing should be done earlier than, than now. No. Shadowing later and earlier the yellow color. So, that, but that's okay. We can try to go around that. Now, same for the teal one now, greenish just some touches and hopefully this will gives us some bit of mm -hmm. more water more water <clears throat> a little bit of that mm, I like that mm-hmm 
not too much just touches okay so we have a bit of touch of green and teal and yellow in this in touch of kind of with that I need to dry this now quickly um, now I'm gonna add a little bit of gesso I like to have kind of <clears throat> in, in some places more white so it's more contrast kind of so I'm and chasing and hazing the white in few places just few decide for where would you like to do it where would you like to add this and so when you look at the whole piece you kind of feel that there's something there some more some bigger depth I don't know how to name that but in many projects of mine <clears throat> I kind of had this um, white touches in the background it just felt good I don't know just did now I think I'm happy with this Mm-hmm. More. <clears throat> Maybe here as well, just a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Into the water. And... So I somehow like the original version of it this quirkiness which I like now I think I'm gonna just stick with it as it is as I love that the way it's done so I'm just gonna add some glue on my flowers mm -hmm. Maybe like this, actually. Hmm, why not? Oopsie! There we go. <clears throat> this glue is not really the the best. It's very sticky, but it's very hard to glue. But that's okay. I I manage. I manage. Okay. And now for the title, is it in that place? Is it good? It is, it is, it is. So I think I'm gonna just, probably gel medium would be more, would have more sense because I don't want to get this destroyed. So I'm gonna grab some brush, 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 and just add some gel medium in there. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go, there we go. In here or in there? Hmm. Hard to decide, you know. <laughs> no, here. Although I love that bit, maybe a bit on the side, like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I will take that. Because my hands are dirty, of course. Okay. Dum -da -dum. Is it straight? I'm not even sure it's straight. It's not. That's okay. <laughs> I don't mind that. Now a little shadow around the flowers maybe. I should dry that gesso of course before <laughs> anything. That's typical Marta. Work your magic when your jobs are not even finished. <laughs> That's fine. 
so just a little bit same for here I like that you know what I love about this that it's so different again to my other projects because it's it's just not so easy to try to do something um, inspirational and different and even for myself like I really love to be challenged <laughs> and challenging myself it's not easy <laughs> there we go okay I think I can call it down except the white splashes we c we have to add white splashes don't you think <laughs> we really do have to okay dum -da -dum. I just covered the title because I I just I just don't want this to have the splashes yet. So I'm gonna just keep on adding splashes here and that's it. I think we are pretty done. And the baby's still asleep. <laughs> so that means I can quickly upload this for you. And Record another video, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, that's that. That's done. That is done and dusted. So what you think? A nice comeback. <laughs> I hope. I hope it was nice. Come back to you with some art journaling, collaging, magazine and all. Thank you so much, my friends. Wow, it was nice to be back to you. As always, uh, it's nice to be back after short or long time. I I miss you so much. I missed you so much. Even when I wasn't ready to create, I still missed you and was reading your comments and tried to reply to as many as I could. So I have to repeat myself and say very much thank you for all your uh, involvement in comments and uh, shares of my videos, my posts and everything for your beautiful best wishes. Uh, you really make a difference day by day in my life, so I hope that I'm bringing this difference to you with my new videos. Um, how my schedule with the videos will gonna look now? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> we will see. But you know me by now that um, I'll do my best to be as often as I can uh, with new inspirations for you. Um, I hope this was something different for you and... Um, inspirational basically that's the main thing to make you wish for creating so I hope uh, you did some collaging with me today I'm gonna wrap up at that make a photo upload the video and hope uh, to be back much sooner uh, than you think <laughs> I have as always many ideas in my head everything is written down in the little notebook as well there's more ideas than time but we get there guys, we really will get there. Uh, thank you so much. If you feel like leaving some comment and letting me know your thoughts about it, you're more than welcome. I'm happy to, to, to read them and to um, reply to your questions if you have any. And oh yes, and going back to the to those prints, if you wish to have a look in the store, uh, links are gonna be below or just google for Maremi small art so you can have a look for something different uh, that would be kind of it I think I'm gonna say thank you goodbye have a good week what day is today it's Monday yes yeah, so have a good week <laughs> and I will talk to you very very soon bye bye bye